two, one. Hey, Internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. And I'm here with a new friend over near where I used to live in North Carolina. And he's from, I think, the Charlotte area. And his name is Michael Calloway, right? Michael Calloway, yes. Got How's it. it going, Brad? It's going good. Beautiful sunny day here in Minneapolis. Is it beautiful and sunny over there? Yes, yeah, real nice. It's going to be about in the 80s today. Oh, really? That's what I liked about it. It was uh, it, when I lived in Asheville, North Carolina. It was uh, there wasn't snow on the ground. If it did, it melted right away. But it accumulates exactly. here. <laughs> yeah. How long you lived out there? I've been out here for about five years. Okay. Where'd you live before that? Connecticut, and it's a lot of snow there. Beautiful place, though. Yeah, Connecticut is really nice. Really yeah. nice. New Haven, Connecticut. Yeah, we went and did some drive. We lived in. We were, we were traveling around, and we stayed at a place in New York, and uh, okay. kind of by Poughkeepsie, and drove around in Connecticut and all those those really nice areas back there. Right. Cool. <laughs> so you married? You got kids? That kind of thing, or no? Uh, no, single, single. Yep. Cool. Because you're you're married to your business, right? <laughs> I'm definitely I'm married to my business. We have a, a love hate relationship. <laughs> Entrepreneurial. And what kind of business? You're in marketing, correct? Yes, I have a marketing and branding firm. Uh, we facilitate a lot of that through niche events. See, that's really cool because a lot of people forget that whole branding thing. You know, if you've noticed, I use the name Magic Brad because exactly. it's unique. There's not a lot of others out there. And uh, these days on the Internet, you need that. So someone like yourself to be able to tell pe hone people in on what their brand is and all. And So, so it's pretty good. So uh, our company is called Create Amazing LLC. And uh, what we do, we like to try to help people create their version of amazing so whatever that means to them will kind of help them facilitate that so how do you how do you go about doing that if i say my version of amazing is uh shifting people's perception how would you go about doing something like that if your version of amazing was shifting people's perception well perception on, on what uh, perceptions of reality <laughs> perceptions of reality um there's different things visually you could actually do from a, a video editing standpoint that could actually help you in shifting a person's perception just for what they're looking at at that time. Oh, cool. I, I kind of get what you're saying. It's kind of like the perception thing is some people believe in Santa Claus. Other people think that it's your dad dressed up in a suit. Exactly. So point of view. So you could do a video thing um, kind of showing a, a, a dad with the coffee and the robe and all of a sudden it migrate, or slowly blends into a Santa Claus thing or something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can do a lot, of, a lot of different things on the visual end, on the editing end. But um, it just kind of depends on what you're trying to create. I mean, when we start talking about getting in people's minds, that stuff becomes a little tricky. But anything tangible, we can we can do that. So when you say a niche event, because people use that, you know, what's your niche? Right. And some people say, my niche is real estate. Well, to me, that's that's really your industry. There's right, a right. niche. So, okay, you get that whole thing. Right. Well, we, uh, we do several different niche events. As far as niche, what I mean is we have an event called Paint and Play. And that's a, uh, it's an urban art showcase. So it has live painters where people paint live acrylics, uh, watercolors, abstract art. We offer different um, crafts, craft art. There's spoken word artists. There's live music. There could be dance teams. There could be vendors. We have vendors on site. There's food. There's music. So it's a whole art experience. Cool. We also, we also have an event. We have an LGBTQ speed dating event. So that's something for the pride community that we do. It's a speed dating with a twist. So instead of sitting down at a table, we stand people up. We have a DJ and you change who you're talking to as he changes the song. Almost like dancing. <laughs> that's very cool. It's almost like musical chairs without the chairs. So as the song <laughs> changes, you'll change who you're talking to. It's and you can rotate back and forth. It's interesting you bring that up because I'm doing an event May 17th here in Minneapolis. It's speed networking for event, the event planner niche. Right, right. So a similar kind of thing. Very, very cool. Right. That's a nice, nice niche. See, a lot of people don't realize, like, that when they go to an event, that there's usually an underlying agenda or a strategy behind the event to make something happen. Some people think, oh, this is a fun fair and festival, but there was other stuff that was happening that they didn't realize. So, is, is that something you kind of help people with if they wanted to brand themselves as whatever? They would maybe like be a title sponsor of an event or something. Right, so we offer different title sponsorships, different, um, we have different sponsorship packages. So we have a gold, a silver, a uh, bronze, and then we have different um, stage sponsorships and different uh, trophy sponsorships as well that we would offer. And there's also different things you can do inside a venue as far as posters or 
projector screens and TV screens that you can do as far as branding companies and yourself during the actual event? Yeah, I saw, um, I think it was, God, I can't remember the name of the company, but the logo is orange and has like little bu bubbles sticking out of it. It was at, okay. at a tech show and they had their logo going up the staircase to the conference. So every place people right. stepped, there was a logo, bam, every step right. was a logo. That was right. a good brand. <laughs> right, you can't, can't miss it. Well, it's cool you're into that kind of thing because that's exactly where I'm at. Do you just do the events locally in the Charlotte area or do you travel around and do them for people other places? Um, well, we just do them locally here for the Charlotte area. I mean, it's a, it's a big city. It's growing and expanding. So mm -hmm. it's a lot of different niches that we do. We also, also do a fashion showcase with different fashion designers. Um, we do a sneaker expo we have coming in May. So that's a buy, sell, trade event for a sneakers. A sneaker expo? Right. So we have a sneaker uh. exhibition. It's, <laughs> See. It's, it's, it's a buy, sell, trade event, and that's um, sneaker culture is really big. I mean, some of these sneakers sell on eBay for twenty, thirty thousand dollars. That's so. that's fascinating to me. I'm I've been in the trade show industry. I, I started doing magic as a kid. That got me into events, and then I started do. I did an expo for myself to bring event planners into, so I could talk to the event planner. And then my office partner was a trade show trainer. Right. And it's fascinating how many different trade shows. I, I swear, there's got to be one for those little plastic things on the end of shoelaces. There's probably a trade <laughs> show for it. You know, right. It's fascinating. Um, stuff, yeah. And um, we have a lot of good things going on. We have some sponsors uh, with Roots Chris, Buffalo Wild Wings, Wild Wing Cafe, uh, a lot of different companies here in Charlotte locally that sponsor us. Sycamore Brewing uh, Brewery here that sponsored us. So we have some good things going in. We have a lot of support through our niche events. Well, cool. Um, before I ask my favorite question, that's the end question, I want you to share more of uh, how we can get a hold of you in case somebody wanted to participate in one of your events. And I'm assuming, you know, there's maybe yeah. some people in Charlotte. Also, the if you want to connect on, like, I do a lot of stuff on Facebook. So if you go to followmagicbrad.com, we can get connected on Facebook. And sure. there's a possibility of doing some of these things like live, you know, do Facebook lives and then uh, boost boost the video to the Charlotte area. Target okay. it. I'm doing that with event planners right now. I'm targeting a 20-mile radius of Minneapolis. Everybody that's got the, the title of event planner, meeting planner, event coordinator, right. all that. And I'm doing that for my May 17th event and just staying focused on that niche. Okay, yeah, that's, that sounds good. So that's how do we get a hold of you? Well, if you want to get a hold of me, you can uh, just get to the website, www.createamazingllc.com. That's www.createamazingllc.com. Or you can email me at info at createamazingllc.com. I like that company name, Create Amazing. Thank you. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> so here's this the, is what we're about. Here's my favorite question, then we'll uh, beam this up to the universe and let people find it. Um, All right. Why? The big why question. Why are you doing this? Why aren't you like a yoga instructor or an acting teacher or a, a gymnastics coach? Why are you doing this? Well, it's funny. Um, this all started about 15 years ago in 2002 in November when I was about 17 years old. I was in high school. Two of my friends were sitting in his, in his room. Um, we were going out to parties at, at that age. You would go out. So we would go out. It started to become boring. The price started to go up. And then we said, listen, we could just have our own event and we could bring the price back down. That's what we ended up doing. It was Three, four hundred kids came in about an hour, and it's, it was going since then. And it's been a rush ever since then. I've been just been chasing it. It's just so fulfilling just to do it. It's just very fun. The actual creation part, the actual organizing part of putting different aspects together and pieces together of the actual puzzle. Got it. It's just fulfilling to me. It's fun for me. Yeah, and uh, events are, even though they're the same, they're always different. Right. <laughs> Same formula, but they all work out differently. Well, I appreciate you taking the time today to be on Synergy Cafe. If you want to stay on, we can chat a little bit further. Other than that, I'm going to close this one up and put it in the can, as they say, and then propagate it out to the universe. So, Michael, I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you, Magic Brad, for having me. Have Peace. a good day, sir. Peace.